Catechol Ellis All-Star Baseball. A game published in the 1940s and then several years afterwards with, with player discs being made each year. We have uh, Garrett Jones. This disc was not produced by Catechol. This was produced by some, some guys who played the games in the 1950s and 60s. And uh, they are on a forum and they share the discs with others so that uh, you can add new players to the game as the years go by. Jones is 0 for 3. Pirates are ahead. They're, they have eight runs. The Marlins have have five. We're in the bottom of the eighth. Leading off the bottom of the eighth, Jones. There's the pitch to him. That ball is socked. It's uh, into into center field, the right side. The center fielder is for the Marlins is running after it, chasing it down. And Garrett Jones is going to go into second base with a double. So uh, Pirates uh, may be trying to add to their lead, try to put the game out of reach. Um, the next batter up is Harvey Haddix. Haddix is the pitcher for the Pirates. He's, uh, he's 0 for 3. Here in, in All-Star Baseball, pitchers have no influence on the outcome of the game, but they do bat if, um, if they're in the National League. Oh! That ball, this is a surprising ball. This is hard hit by Haddix. It's out into right field. Um, we're going to see the runner on second go around to score, and Haddix is uh, standing up on, on uh, second base uh, with a double. Uh, the Pirates bring in another run. Haddix is asking for some time out. Uh, he slid in, and I think they're going to check and see if he's all right. We'll be back. We are back. Um, you can see that uh, this disc is, uh, if you know the game, this is one of the games made by the Catechol Alice Company. And we're looking at Honus Wagner. Wagner is one for four. He really played well yesterday. Uh, today he has a single and he scored, uh, uh, scored a run. Here's the pitch to Wagner, runner on second. That is a line drive into right field. Um, the runner on second is going to score. He comes home to score, and uh, and Wagner goes to first. So Haddix uh, comes in to score. He gets a run scored, and Wagner gets an RBI. We now have two runs for the Pirates. And up comes Pi Trainer. Trainer has been really doing a splendid job th this time. Uh, he did pretty well yesterday. Today he has a fly out, a double a triple and another triple. The five on this wedge here is the triple, so you can see you don't hit it very often. Um, but he's part of the reason why the Pirates are ahead. Here's the pitch to Trainer now. And let's see what he does. Uh, I don't believe it. That ball is hit out in into center field. It's, it's uh, bouncing up against the ground, against the wall. The center fielder is running after it. Pi Trainer is, is running the bases. Let's take a look at the blimp here um, of the stadium. Uh, the runner on first, Wagner goes around to score and, uh, and Trainer himself circles the bases and ends up on third. Amazing. That's three triples in a row. You gotta wonder if there's something wrong with a spinner. Um, Everybody's pretty excited. Uh, we're having some some uh, fuss on the field. Managers out there contending that uh, that there was a close play at third and Trainer should be out. We'll be back, and we are back. Um, trainer standing on third base. We now have three runs in this inning. Um, that's four hits in a row, two doubles, a single, and a triple. This is reminiscent of the Pirate fifth where they scored six runs. Looks like they're trying to put this game out of reach. Wayner has had a strikeout, a ground out, a double, and a fly out. Here's a pitch to Paul Wayner. And uh, that ball is a ground ball. Um, the runner on third comes in to score, so he gets an RBI. A run scored for Trainer. And uh, we have our first out. 
So bases are empty. One away, and Ted Kluzewski comes up. Kluzewski's been superb in this game and the previous game yesterday. Uh, today he's got two doubles, two ground outs. Now he's facing bases empty. Here's the pitch to Ted. Big clue. Let's see where that goes. That looks, it's a deep drive into right field, right along the right field line. Uh, but uh, maybe foul, I'm not sure, but it's caught out there. And so Ted flies out. So we have two down. And now we have Willie Stargell at bat. Stargell has walked twice, singled, and grounded out. Here's the pitch to Stargell. Uh, that looks like uh, he walks, uh, he's got his third walk. So he's on first base with a walk. On this particular disc you can tell the difference between a 9 and a 6. With The 6 has a dot under it to distinguish it. 6 would be a ground out. Okay, Freddy Sanchez. Sanchez, 2 for 4 with an unlikely home run. Um, Let's see how things go right now with him, with the runner on first, two away. Here's the pitch. That's a base hit. Line drive into center field, right over the pitcher's head, over the second base. And we now have runners first and second, so the pirate rally continues. Uh, Tony Pena. One for four. Here's the pitch to Tony. Uh, base hit single, and the runner on uh, the runner on second is going to score. The runner on first goes to third. We have another run in, another RBI. I think that's four runs this inning, if I'm counting right. And now we're back to the guy who started at Garrett Jones. So we've been through the lineup. Runners first and third, two away. Jones at bat. Here's the pitch. And he looks at a called strike, and that's going to be strike three. Um, and the ending, inning, and the uh, bottom of the eighth is o over. Um, so we added, I think, four runs that would make the score twelve to five. 